what is going on everybody total kid gamer here and we are back for another shinobi striker video and in today's video we are going to go over the tier list today not just any tier list but the defense tier list and i want to let you guys know that we are going to be doing a season two of our tier list as well we're going to be doing a volume two of attack tier list uh healer tier list defense tier list and the range tier list but for today we're going to be going over the defense tier list volume one so without further ado guys, if you guys do enjoy, please leave a like down below, subscribe if you are new, comment down below what video you guys like to see me do next, and enjoy the video. Let's get it. Alright guys, so starting off uh, the tier list today, we got 128 palms. Honestly, guys, I'm just going to give this one... Oh, shit. What did I do? Alpha. Oh, there we go. All right, so I'm going to get 128 palms, uh, just a really good off the bat. The only downside, the only bad thing I could really say about this one is that you have to be really close to your enemy uh, for it to hit. But, and, like, really, too, you can... Uh, your enemy can, can get knocked out of this ultimate. But other than that, it does really good damage. You can knock out your uh, enemy's ultimate. You can knock out your enemy's ninjutsu. And overall, it's just really good. You can trap multiple enemies in it. There's really not many bad things to say about this uh, ultimate. Same thing with the uh, Hazan Strike. Hazan Strike, I'm giving an OP because the range it has on it, the dexterity it has on it, the like just the versatility on it. You can use it to capture the flag and then travel away and get back to your base. You can use it to capture a base and then go travel to another base. Or you can use it to attack your opponent if you wanted to and save your team. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of things to do with his on strike and that's why I'm gonna keep, keep this in OP. Now a trigram's palm rotation is a little bit trickier because this one is good, but this one is a little bit trickier to use because if you pop it, like if you pop it right and your enemy sees you pop it then it's kind of like a waste because then they're not gonna like they're not gonna do anything they're gonna wait for you to use it and then it's kind of just a waste you know what i mean <clears throat> damn um it's good don't get me wrong it's good it's not horrible that's why i'm not putting it in downright bad that's for sure but honestly though I'll give it a fairly good. I'll give it fairly good. It is good. It does deflect a lot of ninjutsu, like um, Majestic Destroyer Flame. It deflects a lot of ultimates. Not all, not all of them, but it deflects a lot of them. So I will give it a fairly good. All right, Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is is cool. I like Demon Hunter. It's fun. It, um, it gives you that overshield, which is nice. It's a uh, it's very uh it's very handy but again if you miss this like if you miss that first slash then you're kind of fucked all right um honestly you could put this you could put this in fairly good or really good if i'm being honest it just depends like how you use it and like how good you are with it I guess it just depends on how you, like, yeah, I guess it just really depends on how you use it, if I'm being honest. I'm going to put this in really good, though. And that's only because, <clears throat> and that's only because it has the advantage of giving you that overshield, along with that little, like, you know, thrust in the beginning. So you can lunge at your opponent, which is nice. Very, that's handy. I like that. All right, Dragon Bullet. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, Dragon Bullet. Um, Dragon Ball is alright, but again, I feel like you have to like really know like how to use it <coughs> and like really know how to like, you know, aim with it. Because if you're like, if you just place it down anywhere and you know, you kind of just miss with it and everyone just jumps over it, you're kind of just, again, it's just kind of a waste, kind of like a rotation. But again, with rotation, at least with rotation, you have it deflects a lot more and you know what i mean it's like more of a counter with at least with dragon bullet it's more of like a defense tool and uh rotation is more of a counter you know what i mean it's, it's like it's like a you know tomato tomato but honestly i'm gonna give it a meh because it's it's whatever you can place it down if you want to but there's other things you can use other than dragon bullet all right this is a earth pillar explosion 
this one i'm not gonna lie i wouldn't use this one but you, I, i've seen people use it you could use it if you want to i just bleh, that's not me i'm not I'm, if i'm using defense i'm not gonna use that i'm not gonna use ultimate with everything else in the game all right next up we got mud wall now mud wall is cool i've seen some you know people do some cool uh, defense moves with that i've seen people uh protect their allies with that i seen some people protect their uh friends with that i'm not gonna lie it's cool but again i'm gonna give it a mesh because i wouldn't really i wouldn't use it i'm i'm not a defense player but I, I maybe you put it in fairly good maybe really good but that's not me or maybe you just put it in downright bad but i'm sorry i probably just i wouldn't use it all right next up we got where's this petrifying jutsu Yes, petrifying. All right, cool. We got petrifying you too. This one's cool. I'm gonna give this one probably a a med too. We'll probably put it above mud wall. It just covers you. It's like a needle jizzle, which we'll get to in a little bit. But it just covers you in stone. Uh, protects you. My friend uses this one. You know, shout out to Tay. Uh, real nigga, real nigga. But uh, yeah, it just covers you in stone. Protects from like you know any uh, ninjutsu or any ultimate that really comes at you. It's handy. I like it. Very nice. All right. Next up, we got Subterranean Voyage. Now, this one is nice. I like it. It's cool. Uh, you can go underground, basically just, you know, protect yourself from uh, anything above ground. Or you can, like, you know, sneak around and go to bases or go to the flag if you want to. I don't know if you can capture the flag anymore or bases when you're underground. I don't know if they patched that or if, they, uh, or if you can still do that. I don't know how that works anymore. But either way, it's still a good, like, you know, sneaky kind of jutsu. So honestly, I'm gonna put this in fairly good. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. I'm getting over a cold, y'all. Excuse me, excuse me. Bear with me, bear with me. But uh, but yeah, honestly, I'm gonna put this one above uh, Dragon Bullet and uh, Petrifying Jutsu just because, only because you can move around with this one. You can move around with Subterranean Voyage, and that's the only reason I'm giving it the edge over <clears throat> over Dragon Bullet and Petrifying Jutsu. Alright, next up we got Blast Bomb Dance. Yeah, Blast Bomb Dance. Now this one's cool. Honestly, this one does do a lot of damage. I've, I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten fucked up with this one a lot. Um, but as far as ultimates go, I don't think it's, you know, god tier or anything. I don't think it's, you know, gonna break anything or, you know, I don't think you're gonna, you know do any crazy combos with this it's a uh, i'm gonna put it in fairly good i think it's you know i think that's fair because i don't i don't think it's crazy i don't think it's op i don't think it's doing anything insane you know you can hit someone maybe you know hit two or three people with it if you get lucky but other than that it's pretty easy to jump out of the way from pretty easy to see coming to all right next up we got dragon bullet oh wait no no, no i'm sorry i'm sorry uh uh uh, uh fuck um Dragon Flame Bomb. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we got Dragon Flame Bomb. All right. Dragon Flame Bomb, I'm giving a really good. That's an easy, really good. This one, again, this one kind of just shoots like straight forward. So you have to kind of be accurate with your hits. But when you do hit someone, it does do a lot of damage. And it has a lot of knockback, which is insane. And I really like. All right. Next up, we got a Gentle Fist Body Blow. Uh, honestly, I, I'm not gonna lie, I just wouldn't use this, I, I don't know, I don't really know who uses this, um, I don't really know what it does if I'm being honest, but, uh, it's, you know, it's whatever, I think it gives, like, maybe some defense or something, but it's just, it's, you know, not my cup of tea, not my cup of tea. Alright, next up we got Grand Sand Mausoleum. Now, Grand Sand Mausoleum is a cool ultimate, I like it, it's, um, it's dope, it has a cool animation. Uh, it does a lot of damage, hits a lot of people. I'm gonna give it an OP. I'm gonna give it OP because no matter what, this is gonna hit somebody. This is always gonna hit somebody, and it's always gonna hit multiple people if they're all crowded together. No matter what, and it's always gonna do a lot of damage. Most of the time, it's gonna be a one hit kill if you're not a defense. If you're a defense, probably not. You're probably gonna survive this, but if you're not a defense, you're probably gonna die. So that's why this one's going to go in OP. Uh, that one's a no-brainer right there for me. <clears throat> All right. Next up, we got Deep Forest Emergence. Now, this one um, I used a little bit when I first started the game because uh, I was playing as defense like for, I think, like a week. 
when I first started and it was cool but like you know cool animation and everything but you know it's a it's a whatever ultimate I mean if you like it you like it you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate on it I don't think it's you know bad or anything but I just don't think it's you know the most like you know greatest ultimate ever but it's cool I like it I'll give it a meh you could argue for fairly good too. Well, you know, you can you could put it in fairly good if you wanted to, but I'll just I'm gonna throw it in the mat. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna put this above. Yeah. No, I'm I'm put this right next to flame uh blast uh blast bomb dance. Yeah. I'll put it right next to blast bomb dance. <clears throat> Alright, next up we got hidden miss jutsu. Now this one is a dope ultimate. I like it. It's like, you know, sneaky. You know, all the basically just the arena gets covered in mist. Really sick. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Um really good or fairly good? Um Alright, alright. You guys can argue for honestly any one of these. Maybe even OP if you really wanted to. But honestly, though, oof, I'm put really good. Yeah, I'm gonna put a really good because it does last a long time. Oh, not a long time, but it lasts a good amount of time, and you could do some, you know, you could do some work in the in the hit and miss. And like I said, it's a cool ultimate. You know, the arena just gets covered in mist. I like that. I fuck with it. All right, next up we got Kamui Climax. Now this one, you know, it's it's whatever. It's I'm putting it fairly good, I guess. It's you know, you just basically get you know. You get the Kamui ability, you don't get touched, you know, for the time you have it on. It's basically just like any other Kamui ability in any other class that, you know, the range class. You know, nothing special, but, you know, fairly good, I guess, because, you know, you don't get touched. All right, next up, we have Needle Jizel. And now, Needle Jizel, honestly, I'm going to have to put above Petrifying Jutsu just because it has the spike ability. It has, you know, the dry little spike terror, little thorns. So honestly, that's why I'm gonna have to put it above Petrifying Jutsu, like I talked about earlier, because it has that little, you know, just that little, that little edge. And I think most of y'all would agree with me. All right, I think this one's called Ripple. No, no, that, that's not called Ripple. Partial Expansion Jutsu. This one's cool. I like Partial Expansion Jutsu. It's fun. You just go knocking niggas in the head. It's fun. It's funny. Um. I'll put this one in fairly good too. It's a fun jutsu to use. You just, you know, run around, punch people in the head, get a big ass face like Choji. It's cool. Alright, Reaper Death Seal. Now this one is cool, but this one, see the downside about Reaper Death Seal is that it takes a long time to get. Like Reaper Death Seal takes an extremely long time to get. Unless you're just like some crazy defense player and you're just knocking, you know, everyone out and killing everybody, but it's gonna take a long time to get it, but Honestly, though, it does do a one hit kill either way, but it only kills one person. <clears throat> but honestly, though, I am gonna have to give it an OP because, like I said, when you do get it, it does do a one hit kill and it, the, long, the range is insane. So, I am gonna have to give it an OP for that. Alright, now this one, yeah, this one's Ripple. This one's Ripple. This one I don't really use, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's cool, I guess, but I mean, I'm, I don't, I'm, I've never used this one before, so I'm not gonna, I can't even rank it, but, um, if you like it, you like it, if it's cool, it's cool, then, you know, by all means, you know, you can put it where you want to put it, but I'm not, I just never, I've never used it, so I can't rank it fairly, I'm not gonna lie with you. <clears throat> Alright, next up we got Sage Mode. Now, Sage Mode is cool, Sage Mode is fun to use, like I said, it's like, um, uh, like partial expansion jutsu it's a fun uh, ultimate to use if you know want to get like a little buff on your defense um character but um i think we could put it in fairly good i'm 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 cool with that i'm cool with fairly good you know you can run around throw some hands you know it's fun to use fun to throw on get a little mitsuki stage mode going on i fuck with it all right sand shield now sand shield is a cool defense ability because it utilizes gara sand shield from the show and I really, really fuck with that. And it, the only like downside about Sand Shield is it's pretty ah, it is what the I can't talk today. All right, it is pretty easy to break. Like if you hit it with the Majestic Destroyer, it's gonna you know you're not only not only are you gonna lose your Sand Shield, but you're also gonna lose you know probably your life. <laughs> so it's like 
you gotta like know when to pop it down and you kind of have to like utilize it well but i'll put it i'll put it next to rotation yeah i'll put it right there that seems that seems fair i like that all right all right next up we got sand shower now sand shower is cool fairly good yeah i'll give it fairly good it does do damage and you can really pop it like on anyone and surprise them and you can even like mix it up with some combos too like i have a um i've gotten that done to me on a few times and it's crazy All right, next up we got Snake Thrust. Is this Snake? Yeah, this is Snake Thrust, right? Yeah, Snake Thrust, all right, bet, 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 bet. All right, yeah, we got Snake Thrust. So Snake Thrust, like I said, with uh, you can mix this, uh, you can mix this up with like Sand Shower. Like you can uh, use Snake Thrust and like pop Sand Shower and you can like, you know, throw someone in a combo like that, do some crazy ass shit like that. It's crazy, but Snake Thrust is cool, but I feel like it's more like a, like a, a combo setup or you know what I mean? I feel like it's more like you gotta like uh use snake thrust and then use something else with snake thrust to like really give it that like uh, you know efficient like damage but i will give it a fairly good for you know the combos that you can do with snake thrust there are a lot of combos you can utilize with snake thrust <clears throat> all right now we got spiked human boulder spiked human boulder is cool i like spiked human boulder it's fun it does do damage i won't give it a really good i think i'm gonna give this a fairly good to be honest it's not anything crazy like i said it's fun to throw on it's fun to you know just roll around a big spike ball it goes crazy it goes crazy i like it all right next we have bringing down the house bringing down the house is a crazy ultimate you can drop just a toad on anyone from anywhere really on the map it's the ranges on this is insane but it doesn't always do a one hit kill and sometimes it misses too i'm not gonna lie so for that i'm probably gonna have to give this one a really good but i'll put this one above 128 palms if i'm being honest yeah i like that i like that all right the toad summon uh i wouldn't mm, i mean i don't you know you guys know how i feel about summons i don't like summons but honestly as far as summons go this isn't the worst summon but i mean uh I wouldn't use, but I'll put it, how about this, I'll put it above wouldn't use, because <laughs> I just, I don't know, I wouldn't use it, but isn't this, the, isn't the, doesn't this like Toad like spit out like water or something like that, and doesn't he like, I, how about this, I'll put it in meh, I'll put it in meh, because alright, he is, he is a decent defense Toad, so I'll put him in meh, alright, now we got, is this super expansion, yeah, super expansion Jutsu, alright, so this one's cool, this one does do a lot of damage, this is cool ultimate, um it's not op it's, uh, you can jump out of the way pretty easily out of this one i'll put this one in fairly good to be honest yeah i'll put this one in fairly good you can jump out of the way pretty easily out of that one i'm not gonna lie with you all right toad ah toad oil bomb <laughs> Alright, Toad Oil Bomb is cool, but the problem with Toad I, what the fuck? The problem with Toad Oil Bomb is that you can't, like, it doesn't always hit, like, you can, like, jump, like, it's kind of like Flame Bomb, like, it shoots kind of straight, and it doesn't really always hit the target, and I don't really see a lot of people using this, if I'm being honest, I'm not gonna lie with you, I don't really see many people, like, but, I'll, I'll give this one a man. Man, I'll put this one above. How about that? I'll put this one in first in man. Yeah, that seems fair. But you guys can argue for whatever. But like I said, I don't really see anyone using this, and honestly, I've never really used it either. But every time I see someone, you know, or I, you know, see like, you know, videos of people using it, it doesn't really ever hit. All right. Next we have Uchiha Flame Formation. All right, so for Uchiha Flame Formation, it's cool, but again, like if you're gonna do like, you know, like get a protective shield or anything like that, you might as well just like use like Sage. But I mean, I guess it is cool to have like a ninjutsu that's like a, 
that's like a sage mode too. I'm, 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 uh, I mean, I mean, sage mode's an ultimate. This one's a ninja too. Ah, this one's. I mean, I guess I don't know. You guys can argue for really good or fairly good on this one, honestly. But I'm gonna put this one in fairly again. But I'm gonna put this one above subterranean. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna put this in third. Alright, yeah, there you go. I like that. Alright, next up we got Water Prison Jutsu. <clears throat> Alright, Water Prison Jutsu is cool, but again, it is hard to hit at the same time. It's not like super, super effective. And it only kind of like, I mean, it does do a little damage, but it doesn't do like the most. So it's kind of like you have to really like time that. You have to kind of like do some damage on the person before you pop this jutsu, if I'm being honest. Mm. How about this? I think I'm going to give this one a fairly. Yeah, I'm going to give this one a fairly. And I'm going to give Rosary Bondage. Oh, not an OP. I'm going to give Rosary a really good. Because this one does do a little more damage. And it traps more people. So I like that a little more about Rosary Bondage. If I'm being honest. Alright, Water Shark Bomb. Alright, Water Shark Bomb is cool. I do fuck with it. I do like using it, if I'm being honest. It is pretty fun. But again, that's what it is. It's fun. And it doesn't always hit the target. Because again, you can kind of see them charging up the two sharks. So it's like, you got to be smart with it. But I will put this one above Subterranean. I know if I'm being... Mm, yeah, nah, I'll put this one. Yeah, above Subterranean, yeah. Right below Sand Shower. Sand Shower can be utilized for a little more things. If I'm being like, completely real with you. Alright. And we got Super Shark Bomb or Giant Shark Bomb. Yeah, I think it's Super Shark Bomb. Yeah, Super Shark Bomb. Ah, Super Shark Bomb. Alright. So for Super Shark Bomb, honestly, mm, it's cool. It's a cool ultimate. I'm putting really good. Yeah, I'm comfortable with really good. I've been using Super Shark Bomb for a while, I'm not gonna lie. My friend used to use it too. Alright, don't ball. I'm putting this one in down right bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't ball doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't do anything for anyone. You can just go in there and beat the living piss out of them. It's 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 hilarious how many times they I've seen people put up dome walls and I just go in there and I just it just turns into a cage match. It, it's it's hilarious. All right, silent strangle jutsu. Silent strangle I wouldn't I wouldn't use, but again I've seen people use it. So you know it it you basically you can just like tangle people in like you know these like wood like branches like things, but it's only for like a second and it really doesn't it doesn't like do much. You know what I mean? It's more like a it's more like a, what do you call it? It's more like a bother, I guess, <laughs> for like a second. And then you get out and then you start, you know, you, you continue fighting. I think it does like an inch of damage, maybe. An inch. Alright, next up we got Borto Stream. Borto Stream's a cool counter. It's a cool um, defense counter. Um, I'm comfortable with fairly good. I'm comfortable with fairly good. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Alright. Now Karma, the Karma Ultimate, I'm gonna give this one a really good. Cause this one takes away anyone's ultimate who's in the bubble. And it has a wide range. Ooh, I like that. And you can still throw hands, I like that. Alright, Thunderclap Arrow. Oof, alright, Thunderclap Arrow. It's okay. Thunderclap Arrow is like, man, like it's hard to, it's kind of hard. Ooh. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted. All right. Well, okay. Thunderclap Arrow is all right. But again, it's hard to hit. Like when you throw the water down and then you get that second animation to where you can throw the lightning down. It's kind of like hard to connect those two together sometimes. Unless you, you know, have been playing with it for a long time and you already know how to do all that together. But if you're new to it, it's going to be kind of hard. But if you can connect it, it does do a lot of damage. I think I'm going to give this one a fairly good, but I think I'm going to put this one... 
above um, Uchiha Flame Formation. Yeah, I'm put it right there. Yeah, that was good. Alright guys, well, that's it for today's cheer list video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Comment down below what video you guys would like to see next. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Deuces.